Hey everybody, it's Mike again. This is episode 2 of Spelunky 2. And, uh, if you actually watched my previous video, first of all, thank you for, uh, taking the time out of your day to even watch any of my video, or any of my videos uh, that I have on my YouTube channel. But, um, if you watch it all the way through to the end, you'll notice that the video just abruptly cut off. And I was in the middle of saying something about resource management and how I was wasting everything. And the reason that happened is, if you watched in the video, I talked about this is my first attempt at any kind of Let's Play, and I didn't... I didn't plan it out very well. I didn't set, like, a timer to let me know when 30 minutes is up, because I... I had these videos set to like only go to 30 minutes on the PS4, the capture anyways. And yeah, I just had no idea how long it was going and it just cut off. But now, I have my handy dandy timer and I even just notice, you know, what time it is of the day. So I'm gonna try and just be more attentive of that and actually end the video properly with like an outro or just saying goodbye or anything <laughs> but anyways Splunky 2 started it's a brand new start let's do this I don't have anything to drop down there to activate that trap I guess I gotta waste a bomb Duh. or maybe a rope we'll be smart let's drop a rope there we go ropes can activate traps hell yeah and uh, oh also <laughs> After I recorded the first episode, I started just went ahead and recorded a second episode. Somehow, I lost the footage. Or that video entirely. And man, it, it makes me think of if you're familiar at all with Tenacious D. And the song Tribute. And how they talked about, you know, writing the greatest song in the world. But they forgot how to play it or something, I don't know, and it just... It, the song tribute is actually a tribute to the original song that was the greatest song in the world. This is a very convoluted <laughs> analogy. I'm sorry, but essentially, I thought my second episode was way better than the first, and I felt more comfortable talking and playing, and it's all gone. That footage will just only be a memory to me, but oh well. Maybe I'll try to even <laughs> talk about some of the things I talked about in that first recording of episode two, if I remember, I don't know, we're just, we're just playing Spelunky 2, man, and, oh no, oh no, oh jeez, please, please let me live, turkey, Duh. relax, woosah, good turkey, alright, turkey, you're coming with me, we gotta get Monty, somehow, <sighs> is there a way that I can get up from Bottom. Ah, it'll cost a rope. Maybe I'll just use a bomb. Because I have a great track record with the Alright, seriously, Mole. Just just stop. Just stop. Man. What a jerk. Okay, Monty. I'm on the way. Like I said. Oh no, Monty! That I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh turkey! I I am just Why do we always hurt the ones we love? Why? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should get this guy his turkey back. Alright. Here you go. Here you go. Uh, I think his name's Yang. Oh, and see, now I just realized the stuff that I had... <gasps> Monty! <laughs> no! Oh, my gosh. This... This is horrible. I... I will remember you. Na, 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 na. We'll see him again. Monty is a trooper. He's just taking a nap right now. We'll just leave it at that. But, yeah, man, I just realized... The things I discovered while recording my second episode of this quote-unquote series, this experiment, is that the things I discovered in my journal are already discovered, and now it's not going to pop up again. And for that, I apologize. But, uh, hey! Oh, I, I haven't even been paying attention to how much money I have. Should I get the Super Mario World cape? Minus the flight? Pitcher's mitt? Ooh, climbing gloves. I like these. 
Can I afford the spring shoes? Yes, I can. All right, this is good. Now that I got my climbing glove, I can stick to the walls like Spidey. Let's go. Monty, why? Why are you all the way up there? Bud, come on. Is there a spider? All right, all right. Ha-ha! Nope. All right, great. No! Oh, I didn't even see that. I d it's fine. You know what? Like Steve Rogers, Captain America says in the MCU Marvel Cinematic Universe, I can do this all day. I'm not going to give up. Just keep on keeping on. Oh my goodness. This is... This is something. This is an exercise in... Ooh, I want that gold. This is... This is going to be an exercise in just perseverance, determination. You know, I don't want to give up. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go as far as I can. And just like, I think I mentioned it in the previous episode, my goal is to at least... In this... Well, it was my goal in the last episode, but definitely in this one, just make it to the second area. Just show you guys that... There's more to this game than this, these, these mines. Isn't that right, Monty? All right, Monty. Let's go, buddy. All right. <sighs> See, this is how much I care about Monty. I could have just thrown him through those bones, but I didn't. I might accidentally throw him every once in a while, but he's fine. He's, he's a trooper. And by no means should you ever throw your pets. Or any animals, because that's not cool, man. Alright. Eh. Oh, a bat. Please, no. No. Okay. Everything's fine. I just have to relax. You know, I, I realize a lot of my mistakes in this game is just from not paying attention. I just need to slow down. Relax. Throw Monty. I'm sorry, Monty. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. No! Oh! At least Monty's alive. Ugh. I didn't even see that. I I just... There's so many things in this game that just pop up out of nowhere. It's a surprise you. Ugh. Thanks, Monty. You're the best. Alright. And we move ever forward. Hmm. Oh, a boomerang. 3,000... Yeah, I'll get the bombs. And... Yeah! Boomerang! Alright. How long I can hold on to this amazing weapon? I have no idea. <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty handy. Let's grab some money. Alright. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, my second episode... It will just, it's lost to the, the sands of time. It just will only remain in my memory. I'm trying to just think of what I even talked about in that episode. No, 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 everything's going wrong. Stupid mole. Ah. I, I, I take my mind off the game for one second just to think what I talked about in lost episode number two. And you see what happens. Oh, I see you, Mole. Don't think you're smart. Yeah. Get wrecked. Ugh. All right. Just everything, please. Just. Huh. No, just fall. Thanks. Oh yeah. I I somehow got on the topic of uh, talking about how originally I was actually someone who didn't really like. Um, commentary or let's plays like I you know I, I liked watching people play video games on YouTube but the moment someone started talking I was like uh, why just let me watch the game it was only until um, I felt that way until my ex introduced me to uh, PewDiePie if you are familiar with YouTube gaming and YouTube you might have heard of him very popular guy and I remember originally when I first watched the PewDiePie video, I was annoyed because, like I said, I was one of those people who didn't like commentary. But 
Over time. Oh, hang on. Can I afford this? Heck yes. Spike shoes. These let me stomp on enemies like Mario. Like the best of them. But anyways, like I was talking about, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I started just watching more PewDiePie, especially like his, uh, playthrough of Amnesia, which was hilarious. And I, what? <gasps> uh, oh, there was a spider in the jar. If I hadn't mentioned that, um, yeah, jars, pots can contain enemies. And if you're not careful, they can kill you. And just like that, your run can end. <sighs> Quick restart. It's okay. You know, it's fine. You know, this is this is Malunky too. You know, when you play Dark Souls and it says "Prepare to Die" edition, that could, the same thing can be said about Spelunky too. Please. <laughs> I didn't even make it barely five feet away from the the door. Yeah, Spelunky 2, Prepare to Die Edition. That's what they should call the ex expansion for this. Oh my goodness. But back to my original topic is that, yeah, um, I started, I don't know, something about PewDiePie and how funny he was, and like, it changed my mind about Let's Plays and, you know, people providing commentary. And now I, I actually, I don't really watch traditional television anymore. I mean, occasionally I'll watch, like, football and news, but I mainly watch YouTube and YouTubers and Let's Plays and all that stuff. Because, I don't know, to me it's free entertainment, and a lot of these YouTubers and Let's Players are funny and entertaining. But, yeah, that was something I touched on, or talked about in The Lost Episode 2. <sighs> Monty, how am I going to... I am so bad with bombs. Monty, okay. Alright, we're gonna just set it right here. Oh, please. Don't kill Monty. Monty, you're alive! You're the best dog ever. Let's go, buddy. Oh, Mole! Why? Why? What did I ever do to you, Mole? I... I... Oh, wow, and he escaped the trap. That Mole is... Cunning. And he's determined. He wants me dead. I'm leaving. You know, whatever. Uh, I can't believe... I... Oh, and I had mentioned Dark Souls earlier. You know, believe it or not, I would like to think of myself as an, a pretty okay gamer. You know, I've been playing video games since I was three years old. And I... Oh, I've played many games, beaten many games, and... This may be a hot take, but I'm just gonna say it, to my opinion. I feel like this game is harder than Dark Souls. Period. It just... Something about it... To me, it's just... I... It's so hard. It looks all cute and adorable and... Simple, but... At any moment, you can die, and... Eh, similar to Dark Souls. Cause, you know... I've beaten Dark Souls 1... Oh, I see you, Arrow Trap. I've beaten Dark Souls 1... Dark Souls 2, played a little bit of Dark Souls 3, and of course Demon Souls, beat Bloodborne, but so far this game is, I, I don't know, it just, it's so hard, but it's also so addicting and fun, and uh, you know, I like a challenge, I, oh Monty, hang on buddy, I know there's probably so many like, <laughs> Spelunky 1 or Spelunky 2 experts like he's wasting the bombs to save the dog what an idiot but come on how can how can you leave this dog behind and not feel bad also I just realized did I ever find the key I probably found the key and dropped it somewhere because I'm not paying attention I promise one of these days maybe with practice I will be able to multitask provide I, I was almost gonna say entertaining commentary, but I don't want to give myself that much credit. I'm just gonna say commentary, or just, oh, here it is. Just words. Just words spewing from my mouth. Stream of consciousness, this is what this is. But, you know, 
hopefully, I will get to the point where I can, you know, multitask. I can actually <laughs> do two things at once adequately. Because right now I am, I am on autopilot. I'm, I'm more concerned with just talking. This is more of like. Uh, oh, that that's something I talked about in the last episode too. This is almost like I don't know. Maybe I'll treat this as like a video journal. Maybe like a log, a video log, a vlog, if you will, but in let's play form where I can just talk about all sorts of things. Because I'm not gonna claim that this is gonna be like, oh, this is wacky joke times all times. I'm just gonna talk about whatever pops in my head. That I feel like talking about. It can be funny, it could be entertaining, it can be sad, it could be deep! Oh, Turkey! Oh, and he has the hearts too! I'm so sorry, Turkey. You took that hit from me. Thank you. Ooh, do I want that compass? I want that compass. Alright, Turkey, we're gonna be smart. D drop that. Nope, you're headbutting, that's cool, but I need to drop this. There we go. Alright, Turkey, let's make the jump! Alright. Chill right there. All right, I'm gonna buy this compass. One of these days, I'm gonna try and start buying these gifts because I have no idea what they do or what's in them. I think somewhere I saw that you could possibly sacrifice them on those sacrificial altars, and maybe something comes out. I don't know. I am I am by no means an expert in this game. I only know a few things and stuff I've figured out, but this is mainly just me playing through this game, trying to survive. You know, just trying to make it through a spelunky world. Alright. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't know, maybe this will kind of be like a journal in a weird way. And even that's another thing, yeah. I'm so sorry if I'm like, I am literally all over the place. Hopefully that'll be another thing that improves, that I can actually, like, be more coherent or cohesive in the things that I say. Because instead of just being, like, random synapses firing in my brain and just ideas popping out. But one of the things I talked about in the Lost episode, too, is, like, when I was a kid, I loved the show uh, Doug on Nickelodeon, the cartoon. And Doug Funny, the main character he would write in a journal. And I remember when I was a kid, I might have been in like elementary school or middle school, but I too tried to start a journal. And that was a lot harder than it, it looks. Doug makes it look easy because he just, at the end of the episode, writes in it, wow! That like went through my hat. Wow. Um, all right, Turkey. I'm gonna leave you here while I take on the boss. Um, but yeah, I tried to like, as a kid, start my own journal. Wow, he almost killed me. But, I don't know. Once again, it was something harder than it looks. And even for me, just to keep, like, as a kid every day, trying to find time at the end of the day to, like, write in a journal about what happened in the day, it just became too much. But, I don't know. Maybe this will just be, like, the, I don't know, just a snapshot in time. I literally cannot... Why? Just, just out of reach. <laughs> just, just float, float down, a little lower. All right, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they waited for me to walk away, but I got him. Uh, scarabs give you money. It's hard for me to even remember things that I explained in the lost episode two that I'm just not even talking about now. But oh yeah, here's something. You can find new playable characters trapped in coffins. And then here's this guy, and he's actually gonna follow me. Also, since I picked up the compass, there's two red arrows. We have potentially two areas. We can choose where we wanna go. We can go here, which is um, the, over here is towards the jungle. And over here is towards the lava world. Honestly, in my experience, I do better in the jungle world, so welcome to the jungle. <laughs> that's that's a terrible pun joke. I'm sorry. I ugh. I should just not even try to be funny. Just talk to you all like human beings. But I don't know. I'm also kind of like 
it's part of my personality to be funny. But oh yeah, this is Mama Tunnel. She's awesome. She can uh, create a shortcut for you, so you don't have to keep going through those first four levels dying a hundred times. You can actually just start at the beginning of this next area. Hey there, I'm Mama Tunnel. You can also call me Tara. Oh, I didn't know. Wow, I always just thought her name was Mama Tunnel. I learned something. I'm working on a new shortcut, but I ran out of supplies. Mind donating $2,000 so that I can restock? Sure. Wow, I have a lot of money. Thanks. I can't wait to finish this shortcut. I have not been paying attention. I'm telling you guys, this... You are watching a man play a video game really on autopilot right now and just talking and hopefully one day I will be able to do both competently because I feel like I'm failing at both right now and... Thank you for, if you're even wa anyone watching this right now. Anyone just, just taking the time. Oh, he's got Monty. Wait, dude. Okay, this is a delicate operation, man. I'm a oh my gosh. All right. All right. I'm going to drop this rope. You climb it, okay? <gasps> you, you killed Monty. How, how could you? You killed Monty, you jerk! Oh! That was from Monty. And also... You know, I don't... <laughs> Revenge is never the answer, people, in real life. Alright? <laughs> Even though I just killed that man in Revenge. Revenge, you know... It's like that old saying, if you uh, live your life seeking revenge... Uh, dig two graves? I don't know. I'm not good with quotes. But yeah, just try to forgive people. Try not to hurt people in any way, you know? Let's all just try to coexist. I'm sorry if I'm getting all preachy on my soapbox, but I'm, you know, I try not to... I just, I want people to just be happy, you know? Let's all just get along, increase the peace, all that stuff. Oh man, I have just been ignoring journal entries. That's a monkey. They like to jump on you and uh, just steal your stuff. Don't jump on these guys. They uh, they will eat you. And it's not cool. There's a skeleton. Also, I'm at one health, so we gotta we gotta be careful. All right, all right, I'm out. I'm out. Ugh. I will say this. One um, positive comparison to the Lost Episode 2 is that I didn't make it to Area 2 in the Lost Episode 2. I died a lot. Sadly, there were some funny deaths, but, excuse me, you know, uh, it is what it is. Sometimes, you know, you have the best, you have the best laid plans, and then life happens, and you get humbled, and, uh, yeah. That's what happened right there. And Monty's forever trapped. Ah, oh, man. When did this become a downer? You know what? Let's just try and brighten things up. You know, how's your day? I know this year, 2020, has been rough for everybody. But, uh, you know, I'm still trying to look at the bright side. You know, try to... Oh, are you kidding me? There's nothing over here. Try to look at the bright side, you know try to still find joy when I can and you know appreciate the things I have in life you know all that stuff try and just you know up with hope down with dope I don't <laughs> I'm just talking you know take what I say with a grain of salt because right now like I said I am you know I'm still new to this whole let's play nonsense. Trying to, you know, talk essentially to you. Whoever's watch. Oh, I'm, I'm alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> Whoa, I can push two blocks. Oh, yeah, you push the bottom block. You push the top one. Look at that. <gasps> Monty. And a mole. All right, buddy. I'm coming for you. It's all right, Monty. You know what? You're worth a rope to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can also. 
You can walk through spikes, but don't fall on them. You can also climb down a rope into spikes, because, you know, just don't fall onto spikes, which is, I would imagine, common sense. But, yeah, um... <laughs> I just realized I forgot what I was talking about. I apologize. Um... If, you know, you're someone who gets irritated by, like, people who don't finish their thoughts. I normally do. If I am, if I were to, if I was having a conversation with you, you out there, who's ever, whoever's watching this video. Oh. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's fine, it's fine. You know, if I was having a conversation with you, that's not what I meant to do. I saw that arrow trap. Just FYI, I saw it. I just meant to not climb down the ladder, but drop the skull. Oh well. Take number three or four, whatever, I'm trying to get to this point. If I was having a conversation with you in person or on the phone, my thoughts would be coherent. My thoughts would all flow together. They would make sense because I am actively paying attention to you. But as I'm trying to play a game that on the best of days, ooh, a camera. It's the camera comes with the most powerful flash. Oh yeah, this thing like stuns enemies because it's so bright. But I'm gonna leave it because I'm taking Monty. But yeah, me trying to provide some kind of commentary while playing, in my opinion, a game harder than any of the Dark Souls games and Bloodborne. That's my opinion. Don't take it to heart. I'm just... This game is literally that hard to me for some reason. Um... It's just incredibly difficult, and I, you know, I might focus more on what I'm trying to say. I might focus more on trying to play. But hey, you know, what can you say? I, wow, that, <laughs> this is just, once again, anyone who's taking the time to watch or listen to me just spew nonsense, I appreciate you. And I also, I'm sorry that I'm wasting your time, but if you actually enjoy this, that's awesome but and hey um, I'm noticing it's almost 30 minutes so I'm gonna try and at least get through uh, no please don't don't die like this that'd be so stupid oh no all right I'm just gonna drop the rope activate the traps um, I'm gonna try and end this video I was gonna try and end this video on the next, on level 1-3, and actually, you know, pick up from there, but I guess I'm just gonna start fresh episode 3 at the beginning again. But hey, you know, this is Spelunky 2. This is, this is the, the, the name of the game. The, the, the name of the game? This is, the, I'm not good with sayings, so... This is just how the game goes, you know. If you're if you're the type of person that would pick up this game thinking, you know what, I'm gonna get from start to finish, not dying in one playthrough, that'd be a miracle. I'd I would actually be amazed to see that. But for me, and I think majority of the human race, that's just not possible with this game. You're gonna die a lot, and you just gotta, you know, persevere, endure, and hopefully that's a positive thing that we can you know, translate over to life. Just sometimes life can be hard and challenging, but you just don't give up. You persevere. So, yeah. There you go. That's that's an ending. Uh, <laughs> see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.